friends. I hope you are having an inspiring day. Welcome back to the channel. It has been quite a long time, hasn't it? If you're new to the channel, welcome, and my name is Mel. And if you aren't new to the channel, it's so nice to see all of you again. Today I am back with a brand new unboxing, and it is a purse that I have wanted for a really long time, and I've seen everywhere, and I just figured it was a good time to get it. So I actually got this purse from the online boutique that's based in Singapore but does now ship to Canada called Rebonds and I have purchased a YSL purse from them before and it came in incredible condition. It was perfect, brand new, beautifully packaged, but the one big thing that I realized with Rebonds purchases was the price differences. So what you'll find on Rebonds is that a lot of their prices are at least 20 plus percent off which is incredible especially on designer purses that typically don't go on sale so I am going to unbox this beautiful baby with you guys today it is in their classic rebounds packaging which is black and gold and is so so pretty I'm gonna show you this one as well as the discount I got on it but if you're interested in getting a purse or a designer purchase that you've had in mind for a really long time. I do also have a discount code for them so you can use Mal20 to get an additional 20% off anything on the site and considering they're already 20 to 40% off, I might actually just use my own code. Is that wrong? Okay, so let's start. So beautiful ribbon. I hate taking out ribbon because I feel like it, it just makes it no longer new. Um, but you've got the Rebonds reflective black box. I love using these black box for storage. What's really great about Rebonds is that all of their pieces are authenticated and they are genuine. So you'll never risk kind of, you know, getting a possibly fake purse, which I know has happened to a lot of people. And dun 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 dun! Ah. This is my brand new Prada purse. I actually haven't purchased a Prada purse ever, so this is my first one. I don't know if you can call it like breaking my Prada virginity. The only thing with online shopping for bags obviously is you're purchasing a bag that if you haven't seen in person you don't really know what it looks like. This was actually the case for this bag here. So this is my very, very first time opening it with you. Is that my kid? So this is the Prada City Calf Safiano Pionier bag in 16 centimeters. Holy, that is a mouthful. I had wanted a bag that wasn't just your classic black and gold or black and silver hardware anymore. I really wanted something that was going to be different and that was going to be really unique. And this bag just called out to me as a really nice statement bag, but one that could kind of last through the ages. So this bag is typically $33.70 in retail stores, but on Rebonds, it was only $2,700. So that is a full, I'm really bad at math. That is a full $670 off this bag's retail price, which is incredible. So in terms of material, what you've got here is Safiano leather over here on the top, which is a little bit more durable as a classic Italian Safiano leather. And then you've got the calf skin across the entire body and around the back of the purse, as well as on the front notch here. So my only thing with calf skin, and I've mentioned this in some of my other purse unboxings, is that it does scratch really easily. Now, the reason why I went for this is because I knew that it would be a special occasions bag and it would be worn for very specific outfits, but I know for sure that I'm going to scratch this bag 100%. Even if you nick it with your nail, you will scratch calfskin leather, so I'm just gonna have to be really careful with that. And then you've got your aged gold tone hardware, so it's a little bit of a warmer gold than your average gold hardware there, but I love how thick the chain is. It's a really, really beautiful, it feels expensive type bag. What's really great here as well is that you've got this strap that has this additional piece of leather as well as the gold chain. And the reason why this is great is because chain on your neck on my Chanel walk, for example, really does kind of start to, to leave a mark if you're wearing it for too long or if you have too many things in it. So you've got a slot through enclosure here, so you actually take this out of that to open the bag. You've got the raised logo here, so it's kind of a little bit higher than your actual calf skin. And what I really love about these Prada bags now are the buckles. They are so, so beautiful and they're really ornate looking, which is what I really wanted and felt 
like was missing from my bags. And then inside here we've got some tissue paper, lots of tissue paper. Inside of the bag you've also got calfskin leather it feels like all the way through. You've also got this additional pocket here in the back and you've also got your Prada Made in Italy sort of placard here at the back there. In the back pocket you've got obviously your authenticity card which comes with every single bag that I've purchased on Rebonds which is great. So in terms of the coloring this is called a Kato and Nero color combination. I want to say that Nero means black and Kato is this red dark burgundy but if anybody is Italian let me know in the comments below if that's correct. I love the hardware details on this bag. The notches here, the notches at the back and obviously the front buckle there. My only two concerns to be quite honest with you with this bag is the calfskin. So the calfskin is going to scratch. I think I've already scratched it a couple times just by moving it around. And the second thing is the size. So it is 16 centimeters and 16 centimeters I knew was going to be a smaller crossbody bag. But for this one here, and maybe it just needs me to stretch it out a little bit more, but because of the insides of the bag and how it curves in because it's sort of a half moon, it actually doesn't fit very much in the bag and is really, really stiff. Now this might change as I wear it and it might flex out since it is leather, but for example, I have an iPhone 8 Plus and it barely, it barely fits. It has to fit in diagonally, which kind of sucks. I, when I had my iPhone 6, I knew for sure it would fit, but I didn't know getting my iPhone 8 if it would fit anymore. But it is truly a beautiful bag. It truly is a piece of art. That's really what I wanted from this piece here. I wanted it to be artistic. I feel like all in all, for the deal that it is, and to get $740 off of this sort of purse, it's a pretty good purchase. So I really wanted to get a purse to celebrate the holidays. This is our very first holiday in our brand new house. This is also one of my first videos in this brand new house. So welcome. So I really wanted to get a red purse to celebrate the first holidays in our house, but also that would kind of go with everything and be a statement. And I feel like this bag is definitely it. With the gold hardware and the warm, darker burgundy, I feel like it truly is a really nice holiday and statement type of bag. Thank you so much for watching this purse unboxing. Again, if you want to check it out, I'll leave the link down below to the Rebond site. If you go through my link down below, you'll also get a little bit of a discount. And obviously, if you use the code MEL20, you'll get 20% off as well. It's not commission based, so I don't make any money off of you purchasing, but I thought that it would be great to have and share with you guys. Thank you so much again for tuning in. It has been a while, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this Prada Pioneer bag unboxing, and I hope to see you guys again soon. Maybe not with another purse just yet, but definitely in another video. And if you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up so I can continue to know that you guys like purse unboxing or review videos. And I'd love to hear from you. So comment below. Let me know what you think of the purse. If you think the calfskin leather is going to be a problem, which I definitely think it is. If you like the color combination, if you like or don't like the size, keep me posted. I'd love to get your feedback. And if you are new to the Inspired family, please subscribe below. I'm trying to make more videos now and I'm trying to commit more time to it. So your subscriptions mean the world to me. But other than that, I hope you have an absolutely inspiring day and I will see you next time. Bye.